All right, folks, welcome back. We're going to get started here soon. But as we can see, we're taking a couple of laps around the course. We've got our second game coming up, and that would be Snowbird Bombers here taking their way around the track. Let's walk through these names. We got 15 Bambina, 182 Jinx, 211 Killathug, 27 Aubrey Anne of Tarth, 3000 Power Generator, 321 Nitro Gen, number 42 Schadenfreude, number 13 Hurt Macklin FBI, 516 Pummelgum, number 7 Hot Wheels, 718 Crisscross Grapple Sauce, 75 Valkyrie, and 80 Amina Acid. Right, making their rounds now, we have Manatee Mayhem and an ecstatic fan to our right. All right, going down the roster, we've got Gypsy Rough Lee at 1017. 121 is Reflux, number 16, Sterling Siren, number two, Balada Trouble, 222, A Nuisance Gator, 23, Buns of Teal, 257 Clown, 444 is Mama Sika, 46 is Resident Eva, got 67 Slamasaurus, 7734 is Jojo, 8008 is Squish, and 82 Mo Mayhem, and number three, our Taxi Chain. And folks, I want to just go ahead and offer an apology to our MVP from last game, Artemis Warfare. Unfortunately, I was calling her Major Dill Emma the whole game because I was under the wrong impression that the number she was wearing was a different number on my paper. That's on me, folks. I thought that maybe the 4 and 485 had rubbed off or fallen off. But once again, Artemis Warfare, if you're a fan of hers or she's listening, deepest apologies from yours truly. Won't happen again. Will not, no. And that wasn't all on you, Chad. That was definitely a group-confused effort. We all did make the assumption that the first number had fallen off. So again, apologies to Artemis Warfare. You did awesome as last game's MVP. Absolutely. Most valuable player. Way to go. All right, we're gonna be coming in soon, folks. This, this uh, jam will be starting here in the next few moments. So grab your snacks, grab your drinks, hold on to your butts. Another exciting, exciting game coming at you with Chatter Cheese and- Slamazon. Woo! Also, Grim Possible joining from the sidelines. Hey there, folks, how you doing? We'll be right back with you. Here we go. All right, jam's about to start. And we've got, I can't tell who our jammers yep, are. Let's see. We'll see when they round the corner. We've got Velada Trouble and Valkyrie jamming. All right, Velada Trouble this trying to come in on the outside there. Just getting held up. Getting but Valkyrie's up. in the back, and Velada is pushing her way through. Velada and she's made it to lead Jammer. There we go. Velada Trouble giving Ben Valkyrie 
a lot of trouble. And here we are. Oh, Valkyrie has the. Oh, she's knocked out, folks, by Flux. And in case you're wondering, yeah, that's the same one that was here commenting just a moment ago. Now on the track, giving him the pain. And there we are, a lot of trouble. Called off the jam. It looks like the Manatee Mayhem with four points. Starting off, who do we have jamming in this one? Oh, Pummelgum and Gator. Looks like Gator's gonna break out first. Yep, and there she goes. But Generator's still hunting her down. Oh, got called out of play. <laughs> All right, we've got a penalty also called on Gypsy Roughly. I missed what for. All right, Pummelgum is taking off her panty. Ooh, big hit there. Oh, there we go, we're down. down. But she's back up. Gator and coming through again. I think this might be her second trip. And we've got we've got Pumblegum with the with the star off. Remember folks, we talk about star passes as well as taking it off just to confuse them, but it looks like there she got she the goes. pass off. There we go to number Two seven. Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. talk about it but in the very first jam I'm pretty sure Velada stepped out of bounds mm -hmm. uh, but the refs didn't catch it so if the refs didn't catch it no nope. just the I twitch that, stream the twitch stream caught it, <laughs> it. alright third jam and we are off already a lot of action we got Hurt Macklin out and oh Oh, we got an injury. Uh-oh. It looks like we, we might have an injury, folks. We're going to go ahead and take a moment. Whenever an injury happens on the floor, everybody's going to go ahead and take a knee. We're going to go ahead and also uh, take a moment and see what happens. I can't tell who we've got jamming for the uh, manatees. They are hidden. They must be tiny and petite. Oh, Gypsy? Teal. Oh, Teal. Ah, we got buns of teal jamming for the manatees. Little hesitation to start the jam. <laughs> and there we are. Oh, buns of teal just on the out inside, just really making her way. Wow, power generator trying to catch up to her but couldn't. And they've got Hot Wheels, unfortunately, has been called on a penalty, which makes this a power jam. And Power Jam and Buns of Teal is the lead jammer, which means they can still call it off. But I don't think they're going to do that. I think they're going to go ahead and take this opportunity to score these points. Although Power Generator doing a great job of jamming her up there. The Snowbirds are doing an excellent job holding her back during this Power Jam. The Got Snowbirds generated. just icing her out, That's why preventing we call her her the them. That's right. She That's just right. Won't quit. Right now they're bridging. Oh, and there it is. Uh, out of play, finally happened. They did that to hold off in just enough time until their jammer Until the jammer back came in. back in. Hot Wheels back in the fray, looking to score some points. Let's see if she can break free. Oh, Buns of Teal getting knocked down. Again, these snowbirds are doing a great job of preventing her from getting past them. That wall just blocking up. And Hot Wheels still has not broken up, broken out of the pack yet, I believe, correct? Correct. She has oh, not yeah, made her way. Not, now she is. There she is. There she goes with Velada hot on her tail there. But Velada unable to catch up. Buns of Teal. Still going. Still trying. Yeah. Uh, called it off, but I but I think she wasn't able to call it before they scored some points. It looked 
like Hot Wheels maybe got two points right there. That's yeah. why. Oh, why? Yep. Do the three and a four. Yeah, there's a four up there, and there's a three being held up by these jam refs. It looks like it was three. Look at that. So Snowbird right. three, Manatee Mayhem eight. Looks like Hot Wheels did a pretty good job of, of scoring at least three points there, so that lead wasn't too high. Wasn't too much of a power jam. Oh, right. and well, oh. a lot of or the, or Valkyrie, Valkyrie there. Yeah. Valkyrie on the outside. And Gypsy roughly. And Gypsy's out and now broken out. She's now lead jammer. Valkyrie trying to tiptoe her way through. Are the snowbirds going to get together before Gypsy? Comes nope. Through? It looks like, oh. They slowed her down. They did slow her down. She's back up, though. Oh, and we have a low block penalty called. Oh, we got some jammer on jammer action. All you love right. to see it, folks. Valkyrie going for Gypsy. Let's see oh, what no. happens. Oh, oh, with that slide in and called it off, but scored the points. <laughs> wow, that's just a pro move there. Too bad it happened on the far side of the track. Yeah, it would have been it's nice to see it on our corner, but that was a fun play. I, miss. I know, yeah. <laughs> start. All right, hanging out while we regroup from what we believe was a false start. In the meantime, special thanks to Florida Safety Systems for all their support and sponsorship. Let's talk about Atomic Horror. Are you a horror enthusiast? Come visit Atomic Horror for an unrivaled selection of horror-themed shirts, art, and novelties. Dive into a world inspired by your favorite horror classics and modern frights. All in one immersively themed destination. Perfect for those that live with... I need to read better, good, perfect for those <laughs> that live for horror and gift seekers alike. Check us out at AtomicHorror.com or visit us at 4805 East Colonial and follow the fun at Atomic.Horror on Instagram. Atomic Horror, where fear is fashion and where we celebrate horror all year long. <laughs> <laughs> And with that, we're going to take a timeout. We'll be right back with you. All right, here we go, folks. And we're getting at the end of this official timeout. The jam's about to begin. And there it goes. And we're off. Oh. We got Pummel Gum for Pummel the Gum. Mo Mayhem, it Mo looks Mayhem. like, for the manatees. Both, oh, both of them. Trouble. Wow, but Publegum's just stuck right there in that tripod. <laughs> we could call it in the shoe. Yep, there we go. Oh, the and tripod. they broke free. Oh, Number two. Mo Mayhem. No. Nope. Is it? No, 82. Mo, Mo Mayhem. Okay. <laughs> We had a we had a flashback moment. Yep, I am so sorry, call folks. The wrong name. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm working off two hours of sleep, so I'm barely seeing this list as yeah. is. I don't know what day it is. You're doing great, Chad. I Thank have you. two more hours, and I made the same mistake. Yeah. Together, we are almost one. We are the amount of sleep, almost. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. Well, we got the jam called zero zero. Sometimes, folks, that happens. It's just better to just call it before you risk letting the other team score, especially if you're lead jammer and you're down in points. Once again, Manatee Mayhem 26, Snowbird Bombers 3. But don't let that gap fool you, folks. That can be made up in one power jam session. It can, it can be made up so quickly. 
This is anybody's game as we continue going through. We've got Hurt Macklin jamming for the Snowbird. She almost got a quick one on the outside almost. line. Almost, and she's coming quite. around. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Track cut and action going on. Bellotta's go oh, going. Out now. Hurt Macklin with the lead, lead jammer still, but still stuck. She's got to break yeah. free. Remember, folks, for a jammer to score points, they have to first break from the pack and make it around the course, and then oh. they're going to be able to score points by passing hips. It looks like... Hurt Macklin is struggling to get free, but a lot of trouble is coming back around, and she's going to score another set of points. She made it straight through. Was that a track cut? No, it wasn't. Oh, it was. She got a track cut on there. I'm not sure if Hurt knows lead. I don't think Hurt, Hurt Macklin was lead. lead. She yeah. is lead, and so now right, she's got a star the pass. Penny to I think that's Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Yeah. Valkyrie's got it. They were on her, like, tape on the floor. <laughs> I don't have a good acronym for that one, or a good metaphor. Oh, Valkyrie comes. Amina playing some mean offense right there, trying to open things up for Valkyrie. Valkyrie getting held back by Manatee's tripod. We got Reflux, Buns of Teal, and Mama Sika in there. That is a tough group to get through, as well as Clown. Is this a split pack that was just called? A multiplayer. Oh, multiplayer. That's what that is. I have yet to learn all my hand signals. It's still a process. Is that Bellotta back again and back around? All right. There we are. I think the jam just got called on account of time. How many points did they score on that? Let's see. There's definitely multiple passes. It's more than four. At least. Yeah, yeah I was going to say at least 12. I think she made at least three initial passes. So it looks like I, I believe it's got to be more than eight. There's definitely. I thought it was too, hmm. but yeah, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I know. All right. This is why we've got a ref just for that. That's but right. We have multiple people counting these yeah. points with their full attention. Their full yes. attention. Oh, Velada's back in, I believe. No, no, that's is it not? Gator. And Gator. Yeah. Hot Wheels. All Gator. right. Hot Wheels. Wow. Again, folks, they call it that for a reason. Just look at her go across that track so fast as if she just got shot out of a cannon. She's coming around, and there she goes! Big score, big four on the board. Like Snowbird. Like a whisper through that pack. Wow, <laughs> just, yeah, it was as if she just slipped right through there. Like hot steam. There she goes. Wow, but they got her this time. They blocked her up. They weren't gonna let her just cruise on through there. But she's coming around. She got knocked out. Is she gonna score more points? It looks like she's already got a couple. She's, got a couple. she's trying to tiptoe, and she called the called the jam. I believe she got at least a couple more points. So that should be. It looks like what seven? It looks like seven. That looks like a three. Seven points for the Snowbirds. Remember, folks, like we said, this gap is not as large as it may seem, and that is going to be caught up. They're now eleven. I believe, I believe it might be a little higher, but I think it's 14 to, to 37, because I think she scored seven points on that. Oh, 15, there we go. 15, there we go, yep, 15. 15. All right, Snowbird starting to make a comeback. All right, we've got and, Grapple Sauce. Oh, Grapple oh, Sauce. Push to the inside. And I think that's Mo Mayhem. Yep, All oh, Mo Mayhem's breaking out lead Whoa. jammer. And here we go. Taxi's really holding on to grapple sauce, just not letting her go. And then now she's she's just blocked up again by Manatee Mayhem. She is struggling to break free. I'll tell you what, like a bad apple, they're holding on to grapple sauce, not letting her through. Oh, and here we go. We just they scoring the points. We got Manatee Mayhem coming around again. Manti Mayhem, number two. Our, Mo, um, Mayhem. Mo Mayhem. I like Manatee Mayhem. Manatee Mayhem, Let's Mo Mayhem. Let's just call her that from now on. 
on. She's she is literally manatee, manatee mayhem, mayhem on the floor. She can never leave this team. Never. <laughs> she is the mascot. Here we go. And here we go, folks. It, it seems like everybody's just stuck up there, but there it is. Oh. Mo Mayhem breaks Mo out Mayhem. again. Mo is just putting points on the board. And we've got and grapple sauce grapple. off the panty, looking to pass it, maybe? She, well, her, her, she her, have her, is her, pivot? her pivot just oh, entered God. again. Her pivot was in the penalty box, trying to come up to support, but unfortunately, yep. time, ran time ran out. And it looks like we have a timeout right now. All right, during this timeout, let's take the opportunity to talk about one of our other great sponsors, Will's Pub. Thank you to Will's Pub and Little Indies. Join us after the doubleheader today for our after party at Little Indies right after the game. It's on Mills Avenue. Little Indies is a cozy bar offering a range of hand-mixed cocktails and a casual vibe with regular live performances. I can vouch for this. I've had one of their spectacular cocktails. It was made and given in a honey bear. Oh, honey bear. And they, like one of those bears, and I can't remember the name of it, but it, the name implies like honey. Oh, it's called a Winnie the Pooh. Something like I that. was about to it say Winnie the, Winnie the Pooh. And if they would, didn't call it that, they missed yes. an opportunity. And was it tasty? It was delicious. <laughs> it had like um, an oh. herbal liqueur in it. As well oh, as wow. some honey, it was spectacular. That and then delicious. you got gummy bears given oh. on top of the honey bear. It wow, the, I mean, going amazing. hard on the theme there. But that sounds delicious. So join us at Will's Pub after the doubleheader. We'll see you there. Right. It's such a good turnout today, folks, in the crowd. Remember, if you're joining us on the stream, but also uh, here live would be great. We're going to go ahead and next jam starting. We got a couple people terrapin the, terrapin the terrible blub blub for the manatees. Oh, and a tick tick for the bombers. There we go. All right. Oh, and look at us. We got a couple of announcers here. Happy camper. Go manatees and great announcers. Thank you so much. We're here for you. That thank you also going to Flux, who's on the floor, I'm sure. We're all here to help and entertain. Thank you for joining us. And here we go, folks. We're coming around. We got the lead jammer, number 83. Honestly, folks, nope. I apologize. <laughs> I am not. I am not good at these names. Is it thirteen? Is it Hurt Macklin? I think uh, Pummel Gum. We got Pummel, Pummel Gum. gum. It is Pummel Gum. You're I right. I believe I saw Teal. Teal, teal is and Pummel Gum are the, for the manatees. There, I see. Teal has a real. Specific it must be twenty-three way she is the number I saw. Yeah, it's oh, twenty-three. Girl. I have glasses, but I can't read. I unfortunately am not doing well. There we go. Teal breaking out. It is the lack of sleep. Yeah, absolutely. Right. I'm normally much better than this. Teal is number 23. 23. Chad, I don't know how you can get better. I don't either. <laughs> Maybe took a quick nap during the game. Oh, wow, just Teal right, yeah. right by. Didn't wow. no stoppage yes. whatsoever. Nobody pack, there. Pack what pack? Right. They they just kind of let that through. Hey. And there we are. Oh, and we Woo! got a Hot Wheels. And a catch. <laughs> Hot Hi. Wheels with the with the star pass. All right. Here she goes. The pivot, putting it on. She's got to put it on to score points. All right. It's and on. there we go. Barely. I hope it doesn't fall. Oh. And it does look like she was able to score four points though. Nice. But but Buns of Teal with 12 on the board. That was a big score round. Hurt Macklin almost hitting through on the outside line. Oh, and there she goes. And there we go, number 13, Hurt Macklin. But not a lead. But not jam. the lead jammer. What? That would be Gypsy. Gypsy's the lead jammer. All right. Hurt Macklin coming around though, going to score some points. A great tactical move by Gypsy, who got lead but really wasn't in the lead. Yeah, wasn't able to break free, but she called it off before Hurt. Could do any real damage with those points. Before Hurt could hurt their okay. score. Could put the Hurt on them, More. that's right. Hurt is stamina is incredible out there. 
playing at one game previously. A lot of these uh, players played in this earlier game. So yes. Hard work out there for sure. Yeah, Hot Wheels, Hurt, um, Nitrogen, Probably. all of them yeah. played a lot of them. in the first game. I don't know how they do it. Good diet. Yeah. <laughs> Good diet and exercise. That's right. They ate their eggs this morning. We got Mo Mayhem with lead jammer. Out of the pack. Coming around. Who's going to make out shot and break up? Oh, there we go. Mo Mayhem coming around. Is she going to get him? Oh, running the inside. Look at that, yep. that smooth maneuver. And she she got him and called it before Shada could get any points. Wow, that was a good, good heads up display there. I think it's one of those things like where you gotta pay attention to where you are on the inside. We have, we've seen a lot of jammers get through on the inside line with this game. A lot of tiptoeing, a lot of, a lot of very smooth maneuvering. Who's that Bambina? Who is that? That is Bambina. Bambina coming out as Pivot. And we got Valkyrie jamming for the Snowbirds. And Velada. There we go. Velada making her way through. Oh. Oh, and she's she down. Almost broke through. Oh, Bonzatillo getting called. Velada getting called as well. I believe on a track cut. Track cut. Called on the track cut. I saw great so now, And Valkyrie now is not only lead jammer, but in a power jam. Yeah. Thanks to Velada being in the penalty box. So let's see what she does with this. Also, Manti Mayhem down one blocker. Let's see what she can do. Valkyrie needs a breakthrough for the Snowbirds. Let's see if she can bring it through. There she is, like a cold front. She's just unsuspectingly getting through the group. Bringing it through, there we go. Oh, and Velada's back on back on the court. The power jam is off officially. Let's, Let's see what Valkyrie does. We got a track we cut. Got another track cut oh, on Velada. On Velada again. Oh, track no. cut again, oh no. All right, Valkyrie still power out jam. there. Second power jam of the jam. <laughs> it's power jam 2.0. We're just stocking these jams like a like a like a hoarder here. It's power <laughs> yeah. jams. We're and <laughs> Valkyrie's pushing her way through. She's doing her best. She's getting through, but this I'll tell you what, Manji Mayhem is just really preventing her from getting those points. She calls the jam off. Let's see what she got. She was able to put up some points on the board though. Yes, she was. Able to put up eight points. Bringing that now. 65 to what is it, 41? 65 to 41, I believe. Real quick, let's give a shout out to Central Florida Skate. Central Florida Skate is Central Florida's premier indoor street park designed and built by local Central Florida street skaters. They are taking outside, inside, and providing a street skate facility like none other. All right, and it looks like we have Gypsy for Manatee Mayhem, and we got Pummel Gum for the Snowbirds. Pummel Gum does look stuck right now. Manatee's blocker is doing a good job of holding her back. We've got Resident Eva, Slamasaurus, and JoJo. I think she made it that on purpose. She and unfortunately, Pummelgum's just not getting through that wall right now. He's gonna pass the panty. Although we and got here we are. Gypsy being held back by oh. Generator and Hot Wheels. Oh. Pummelgum trying the star pass though. Gypsy breaking free. Pummelgum's got the star off. Is she gonna hand it over? Let's see her pivot, and she did, but is it gonna be successful? It is a successful star pass to Hot Wheels trying to tiptoe her way through. Let's see if she can get it. Can she get it? I'll tell you what, these, these jammers are doing such a great job of not giving up. They're really coming to a lot of resistance from these players. And so we got Gypsy, she's coming up. 
She's got those four points. I'll say right now they have really good blockers. Absolutely. Like on both, both teams. sides, we've got travel team, I believe. Yeah, travel team like rank blockers <laughs> that these poor jammers are just getting stuck behind. There we go, and we got we got the jam called off. But no one's but no, stopping. <laughs> actually, no, okay. I think I think there was a uh, track cut on Gypsy, so she wasn't yeah. able to call it off. She wasn't able to call it off. The jam right. is gonna continue. It has uh, gone the full two minutes, but Gypsy will actually start the next jam in the penalty box, which means we start with an automatic power jam. Like a doomsday prepper, we are stacking power jams as if we are gonna run out. That's right, me too. Yeah. I love right. it. <laughs> Got a go bag of power jams. Absolutely. <laughs> Doing it like uh, legally, FBI style. Here we go. Yeah. She's coming in with that proper skating. Oh, oh she tried man. the leap, but it didn't work. She's yeah. got to go back. She's gonna go and go on the outside. She's she's maneuvering her way through. She's is she's she gonna little... make it? Oh. No, they've stopped her. Oh, they prevent. They're really preventing Hurt Macklin from getting through. But no, oh, there she goes. There they go. Nothing can prevent wow. Hurt Macklin. Gypsy you can't Ripley. stop Hurt Macklin. Gypsy Ruffley just came back into the game. She's taken the panty off and is trying to pass it to her pivot. Here but comes she... Gypsy. Will she get it passed? No. No, no pass. Let's see. Hurt Macklin, four points on the board. Oh, actually, five points. Snowbird Bombers, five points on that score. The manatees are doing a good job of keeping the snowbirds from getting points. They really are. The they, manatees have some intense blockers on yeah. their team, that's for sure. I'll tell you what, they, they are blocking and they're moving so methodically through here. Slow and steady wins the race. And here we go. We've got, we got buns of teal, I believe, for our uh, manatee mayhem. And, and we've Shada. got Shada for our snowbirds. Let's see who's going to break free first. Who's gonna get out of the pack and get that lead jam? Both are in a oh, it looks like fight. it's Shada. Shada's lead jammer for the Snowbirds. Yeah. Okay. Is it just? chat we're gonna drop a link to vote for your fan favorite make sure you go to that link and pick which of our beautiful amazing wonderful awesome skaters you love most thank you I don't use maps <laughs> All right, we have an official timeout at the moment, folks. They're going to go ahead and take a moment. While we take a moment, let's go ahead and mention one of our awesome sponsors, Primrose Tattoo. Thank you to Primrose Tattoos, the designers of our custom design Orlando Roller Derby shirts. Guys, if you haven't gotten one of these, they're awesome. Primrose Tattoo is an award-winning shop that has been a part of the community for over a decade. From walk-ins to large-scale custom work, they create art that will last a lifetime. Speaking of lifetime, the memories here that we're going to be creating as we continue with this live stream, but you can create those memories in person too by showing up to one of our games. Just check out our Facebook, check out our listings. We'll be posting them all the time. The excitement in here is electric. Oh no, Nitrogen oh. got called on a penalty. 
Oh, we have Nuisance Gator, though, breaking her way through. She's lead jammer. Oh, here we are. It looks like she's going to be coming back in. We got a panty pass to Bambina. All right, Bambina's got it. She yeah. is on Nuisance Gator's tail, nipping at her. Let's see what and she can do. On. There we oh. go, Bambina. Oh, she got past, I think... I think Gator scored at least one point on that. She did. She got past one snowbird. Which is better than that. Better than no snowbirds. That's right. Like she's gonna break out of this pack first, but oh no, power generator running her back, got her out. Pummelgum stuck behind. Manatee Mayhem's just wall of defense. Got siren buns of teal and squish. Oh, and she finally gets past them. Way to go, Pummelgum. Oh, Mayhem also breaking out of the pack, but all oh, power generators honor. Got a knee. Uh oh, we're gonna go ahead and take a moment, folks. Once again, occasionally injuries do happen on the floor. It's, this is a contact sport, so you, you don't like to see it, but we do have great medics. They're going to be coming over. We're going to take just a moment while they deal with this. Let's go ahead during this break and give a shout out to Stanky Sauce. Orlando Roller Derby fans ready to kick up the heat on and off the track. Get ready for Stanky Sauce, Florida's most adventurous hot sauce. Whether, you, whether you're dodging blockers or diving into dinner, Stanky Sauce adds the perfect thrill to every meal. With flavors so bold, you'll need a helmet just to open the bottle. And because you're all about living life on the edge, we've got an exclusive deal just for you. Use promo code ROLLER20, again that's ROLLER20, all one word, at stankysauce.com for a fiery 20% off your order. Stanky Sauce, the official heat of the daring, the bold, and the roller derby soul. Skate hard, eat bold, and feed adventure. All right, Stanky Sauce. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to be using that promo code. Absolutely, me too. I carry cayenne in my bags. You heard it here, folks. Yeah. Uh, Spicy sauce is my life. That's right. Her bag is stanky. <laughs> She'll be carrying it with her. Once again, thank you, Stanky Sauce.
and getting back to it, back to the action. The official timeout has concluded. Or is about to conclude. We thought it concluded. Well, it had not yet. The referees can always confer a bit longer. Once again, we thank our skating and non-skating officials. Yes. They are volunteers, folks. Remember, if you'd like to become one, keep tracking back with us for our open tryouts. You too could help us out and join and watch the game. Be a part of the action. And here we are, Gypsy's got the lead. And Hurt Macklin but Chais, right up with That's her. right, Passes Hurt Macklin. Oh. We knew that was gonna happen. A good call from yeah. I would have done it too. <laughs> a lot of that going on today. I would say more than usual. Yeah. Well, I mean, the speed on the speed on the uh, snowbird sometimes is just a little bit too much to compete with, it seems. So they call it off, which is the uh, same thing. Such a good idea. Smart strategy, really. All right, let's take it just a moment once again to, to uh, educate our viewers on how the, this sport is played. So as the teams line up, keep in mind there are three positions. You have a jammer, you have a pivot, and you have the blockers. Now the jammer is the one with the star. That's the easiest one to point out. They're also followed by the jamming official. You see the one there with the big L up. You have your pivots, which have the stripes. The pivots there with the stripes. And then lastly, the blockers. The blocker's job is to block. As it is stated, they block the jammer or the pivot if they've been handed the star. These positions, you can only score points if you have the star and it must be on your helmet and you have to pass each individual player after going around one time the track with your hips. You've got to pass them with your hips, you can't lean into it. That prevents anybody from just leaning and then calling it off. There we go. It's a really great display of tractor trailering between Killa and Hot Wheels to keep uh, Gator back for that jam. Now, tractor trailer, folks, is a uh, defense strategy yeah. in which two people make the most of their space by pushing each other around. Yeah, pushing or pulling. Believe it or not, it's uh, fairly easy for a jammer to get past two people, so it, it takes a lot of strategy to be effective as a pair. I was distracted by Mo Mayhem getting knocked out on knocked the outside. Knocked down and crawling back and out. Yeah, Aubrey. We got Valkyrie trying on the on the outside. Aubrey coming in to assist, but unfortunately Valkyrie went gonna, out yeah. and is being I'm brought back by out. Taxi. Here we go. Valkyrie's around. She's going in. They got the Manatee Mayhem's got that tripod up. They really have uh, done such a great job again of, of blocking the Snowbirds' advancement. And we got number 16 stopping her too. Wow, they really, oh, and she's brought the game with her. Oh, Aubrey. <laughs> Woo! There we go. That was a feisty jam. Yeah, it was. Unfortunately, Unfortunately. Aubrey's down. We're going to go ahead and take another moment here, folks. All right, folks, it looks like we're actually just going to go ahead and call halftime because we're already so close to that by putting another, we wouldn't have time for another jam. So please take your time, go ahead and get your drinks, your food, your snacks, revitalize, and we'll be back with you very soon. Thank you again for showing up, showing out, and we're going to go ahead as well and show back up. Once again, Felony Fat Bottom, great announcing. Thank you. Thank you, Felony. Felony. We love you. We look forward to seeing you soon. We are back with the second half. Uh, we've gotten alerted from the head ref, Sheriff, to let us know they are shortening the second half to 20 minutes. It's to lessen the... Uh Effects of all the injuries and fatigue going on. These girls have played so hard today. 
All right, we've got Pummel Gum for Snowbirds getting Lead Jammer breaking out of the pack. Gypsy Rep Lead, not far behind her, but maybe because Power Generator's in her way. Gypsy Rep Lead breaks out of the pack. Pummel Gum trying to get through, get some points. Got Gypsy Rough Lee passing Pummel Gum. And Pummel Gum is still stuck in the pack. Oh, she breaks out. And calls off the jam before Gypsy Rough Lee can get any more points. Chad. Thank you. I had to go change a shirt because it's a little cold in the gym. It's freezing. It's freezing in here and unfortunately I'm not wearing a bird suit. But I'm wearing I... a shirt and an overshirt. Needed a thicker one. I came prepared. Yeah. Not a big gal here. I'm a, I'm a petite one. You are. You don't have any fat on I your bones for I'm the winter. I've got a little. Nice. I've got a little. A little bit. It is a little bit. Oh, there we go! Bird Macklin again! Putting that FBI training to work. Woo, she is Breaking so through. Quick too. Here she goes. She's right. about to investigate some points. Let's see if she can capture them. Coming up behind her is a nuisance hey. gator. Oh, she, oh, called, she it called it before Gator could get there. All right. Okay, and here we go again. Folks are starting the jam off. Let's see who we have. Mayhem. Mo We've got mayhem. Mo Mayhem. Out. Quick. I and saw her shove somebody too yep. just to get on through. Hey, she the got jammers it done. have got to sometimes do that. And we've also got Hot Wheels. Man, Mo getting knocked out. By Power Generator. She's oh, and Power her Generator back. is bringing her back. Meanwhile, Hot Wheels is still stuck up in the pack. She's trying to get through, but that wall, the man Oh, pack. generator, power generator is genuinely blocking that advance, but dog, she makes it through. She makes it through, scoring four points for Manatee Mayhem. All right, Mo Mayhem. Looks like Hot Gonna Wheels score Mo through. points here in just a moment, it looks like. She's coming back around. And let's see, Hot Wheels had the star off. I think she was using it to trick him. But now she's coming back through, and Mo has called off the jam. Mo has called off the jam. All right. Well, there we go. It looks like eight points. Eight points to be scored by Manatee, or seven. Sorry, apparently I can't add. I'm actually really glad that you're keeping track of the math, because I have no clue. Yeah, I... Uh, Every time you're like, that looked like seven points. <laughs> I and Genuinely, like, I'm I just no trying idea. to keep track of the referee's fingies. Because they hold them up. Shop. Way to count you. those digits. Thank you. Thank you. It's a, it's a pastime of mine, really. <laughs> All right. We have Gypsy for Manatee. And we have, it looks like, oh, it looks like it's Valkyrie. We got Valkyrie. Valkyrie. She makes her way out. Look at her. With the wings on her shoes, she flies from the group. Wow. And Snowbird's holding on to Gypsy. Here comes Valkyrie to score her points. Let's see what she does, folks. She goes on the inside. Does she make it through? She does! She does! And then calls the jam off. Wow, she got through there knocking, knocking Flux down on the way by to Ooh. score those four points and put the Snowbirds up to 56. That is a hard wow. thing to do, to knock Flux down because really is. reflux always comes back. She does. She returns with a vengeance. That's right, comes back up. It's like a burning desire with her. All right, let's see what we have here. So, we have the next jam is lined up. It looks like we got a lot of trouble. 
making her way through. And, uh, oh, yep, we got Pummelgum. trouble gum. Pummel gum. Don't know why I said trouble gum. <laughs> trouble gum sounds yep, really I mean, cute, actually. Yep, trouble gum does. There we go, Velada. Making oh, a throw, passing pummel gum again. Past the pack. Wow. And here we are, pummel gum getting back up. Velada looking to score four more. She's at, I believe, eight so far. Let's see. Let's see what she does. No, she's at four. This would be her next score. Yep. That's two. Two passes on the board. Out of the oh, and she line. called it. She called it. Wow, pummel gum with zero. Let's see what. Let's see what Mansi Mayhem. That was eight, I believe, altogether. Wow, Velana with a big run. That was eight big points. Run. Eight points on the board, bringing us to 101 and 56 for Snowbird Bombers. 101 for Manatee and 56 for Snowbird Bombers. All right, we got Hurt Macklin breaking out, getting lead wow, cheer for the Wow, Hurt bombers. Macklin. Mo Mayhem getting pushed oh. out by Amina Asif. But back in immediately, oh, pushing through. Immediately. And in the wow. inside. Wow, there Hurt we go. Macklin Whoa, Hurt oh. Macklin. Hurt Macklin right through. through that. Oh, no my problem. God. And then Whoa. calls it up before Mo I'm going to tell you what, points. if Hurt Macklin had busted through my blockade that quickly, my feelings would be Hurt Macklin right now. Her that Macklin was crazy. doesn't need a warrant. That's right. She just they busts down. They kicked in that the door. door. Her Macklin serving no warrant arrests out here, taking no prisoners. That was good. <laughs> Didn't need, doesn't need but a warrant. But taking perps. That's right. <laughs> Doesn't need a warrant. That should be that should be her. That is like a cat. That's got to be her. Doesn't need a warrant. Her Macklin doesn't need a warrant. <laughs> All right, we got Hot Wheels busting out. She's got lead jammer. Uh, Gypsy Rough Lee has got her panty off. She's trying that. She's got the panty off. She's trying to get it. We got Hot Wheels coming back around. Is she going to be able to pass through the group though? They're doing a great job of keeping her there. Let's see. Oh, she actually, I think she got a star pass off. Or no, no, oh, that's she, Gypsy. Yeah, Gypsy. Hot uh, Wheels is still trying to work her way through. And oh, but off. she calls it off. Calls she it calls off. it off. Did she get Good any strategy. points? She got four points. Did, All right. Yeah. Four points. All right. Coming out for this jam, we've got Velada. Is that Mama Sika? Nope, Slamazaurus. Can't, I shouldn't try to read things through my phone. That's the learning lesson here. Just a reminder to everybody, check out the link in chat and don't forget to vote for your favorite player of this game. Pick your favorite MVPs for the Snowbird Bombers and the Manatee Mayhem. Velada. There we are. Velada, lead jammer now, breaking out. Let's see. We got Valkyrie hot on her tails, though. And with a vengeance, Valkyrie is catching up. Valkyrie is on mission. She is on mission. She's coming. Look at her go. On mission. Oh, oh, oh Velada with Velada. just the pass. Nobody's stopping her. Blowing through. Wow. Those blockers will be in Velada trouble. They will be in Velada <laughs> yeah. trouble. Yeah. Wow, she just blew right past. I don't she think did. anybody was even paying attention. I don't think they noticed. <laughs> I don't think they saw her coming at all. All right, and we're lining back up here. Here we go again, folks. Jam's about to begin, and there we are. Let's see. We got Pummel Gum. Oh, and we got Mo Mayhem. Mo Mayhem, Mo Mayhem on the outside. She's trying to make her way through. It's not not happening. But Pummel Gum, Pummel Gum looked like she is she is actually pushing. pushing her pushing her way through. Oh man, Mo Mayhem on the outside. Mo Mayhem. And Pummel Gum taking the panty off, trying to pass it to her pivot. Let's see. Oh, she wasn't able to get it off. Here comes Mo. Is anybody gonna stop her? 
Yeah. Well, she ran grapple right sauce. into grapple sauce, yeah, but grapple wow, sauce. just slipped right through there. I'll tell you what, like a manatee bopping through the water, they're just cruising along. Oh, here comes more mayhem. Mo is causing Mo, and she is oh. down. Wow, that was wow. The Ran right most in, intricate. fell face first. Is she okay? <laughs> she looks to be fine. Yeah. She got right up. I think that That's was like crazy. a that was like a, a Marx yeah. Brothers type trip. By that was Bambina. that was absolutely a, a <laughs> like a Marx yeah, Brothers, Marx Brothers, act. Brothers <laughs> straight up Three Stooges style, yeah. face first. But she got right like, back up. Flipped her like a Looney Tune. Yeah, this wow. <laughs> kind of, kind of was expecting her to just do the whole flip. I expected a boy. <laughs> right. She gets up. There's Tweety Birds. Oh, Mo wow, Mo. Again. Just, just, and calling just it off. absolutely causing the most mayhem she can. Most mayhem. That most. That is most the mayhem. The most. Most mayhem. Mo We got Hurt Macklin coming uh -oh. out to jail. Uh oh, Hurt Macklin and uh, oh, Gypsy. Here and we go. Gypsy this is a this late. is a matchup we've seen before. Let's see what happens this time. Let's see if Gypsy can get through. Is she gonna make it through here? Oh. Yep. Pushed Lead the jammer. Outside, Hurt Macklin. Lead jammer. Oh my goodness! And Hurt Macklin's down, but she's back up. She's catching up to Gypsy. Look at her. Look at her go. Gypsy's skating with all the fury she's got. Right. Oh, she pushes through. And she scores the points. All right. How many did she get? Four. Three points. No, she got three points. Three points. Three points on the board for Gypsy. Slam, what do you think of the game so far? What do you think of, of the lineup in this matchup? How do you think they're both doing? I think uh, this is a tough game. I think that these these girls are all very tired. They've played a lot. They've played hard. They have excellent blockers. The defense on both sides is really good. But especially, I can't deny it, the manatees are bringing that wall. They really are. Yeah, they, and as you can see here, there was just a lot of a lot of aggression there as Velada pushes her way through. Velada's out. Yep. Oh, do we have the star pass? Whoa! We've got both Velada. Whoa, well, look at Velada go! Now, did Velada play in the first game? I think she did. She was in the first game, I, I believe so. Yeah, she I, was in uh, for a little while. I know Hot Wheels was, and both of them have been jamming yep. this whole game. The they whole have to time. Be the whole They're time. doing amazing. Yep. And Velada calls it off before, Jim, before uh, Hot Wheels can get around to score those points. Again, Manatee playing smart. Scoring a few points yeah. and then calling it off. It's such a, a good strategy. Even though they have the lead, that 60 points can be made up quickly. So there's there's definitely no reason. It is an excellent practice and strategy. And right, right now, I think whenever we see Texi and Siren and squish that's a tripod no one can get through a trifecta that's a trifecta yeah i i think we can call it that well, for Mayhem sure is out and mo is out and who's in the Valkyrie's back valkyrie's trying held back by that trifecta that trifecta that trifecta oh she got the pass off oh no we're down we got mo, May mo mayhem is down we got 182 jinx. down jinx yeah. We've got a timeout uh -oh. called on injured player. Yep, yeah, we got it. We got a timeout here, folks. That was a big slam. You could see it right in the bottom corner there for a moment. We're gonna go ahead and take a moment and let them do their job. They're gonna assess her, and we should be back. All right, we're lining back up. Once again, give a shout out to all of our help from the skating officials, non-skating officials, and especially our medical staff who are here treating these injuries quickly and efficiently and making sure that all of our skaters are healthy and ready to go. Thank you so much. Thank you. We love you all and all the work you do for us. Absolutely. And here we go. Wow. Buns of teal. Coming into our out. house. Power generator just genuinely, I think, has a vendetta. There we go. Oh, and pummel gum. 
here oh. getting stuck on these players. Stuck on that manatee trifecta. There it is, but no, oh, here we go. Buns of Teal back in. She wants more power generator. And now, power generator, though, has been sent to the penalty box. Oh, 257 just getting a penalty on a directional ball. All right. And here we go. Now we've got one of each from each team in the penalty box. Pummelgum still trying to break just out. Just really, path. just really having trouble getting through there. Teal, oh, oh around Teal's on the around. I think she scored out. four points. Yep. Teal has scored those points. Pummelgum is now coming around, I think. She is she's trying her best. She's genuinely getting up. It's, remember, folks, a lot of these a lot of these players have played multiple games. They're really putting their all out here. And Pummelgum is no different. She's doing such a great job. She's out of the she's pack. She's skating Got around out of the pack. Back on and Here she comes. Get some oh, and Buns of Teal, of course, does the, the smart play like Manatee has been doing this whole time yep, and calls it at it the off. four points. Or actually, no, I think she got, did she get more points? She right. looks like she got yeah, two like more. Six. Is it two more? Yeah. Six points. Yep. All right. So she was able to, to, to get a couple more there. Got the lot of trouble back in action. There she is. Oh, oh we've got a, we've got her And now. Hurt Macklin coming up from oh, behind. Oh, Hurt lead. Macklin yeah. gets the lead, but Velada, Velada oh. gets ahead of her though. Look at her go. But she doesn't have. Lead she doesn't have Jammer. lead, which means oh, Hurt Macklin calls it before she can score any points. Not a bad idea. Not a no. That yep. is a smart move, of yeah. course. That is the smart move. Hurt Macklin is tactical. That's right. If anything, his the, if anything, their training has taught them to make the smart move, to make the uh, like you said, the tactical play. Yeah. With precision That's and authority. That's right. Hurt Macklin's on the case. Yeah. <laughs> Got Mo Mayhem busting out to get lead jammer. Had to claw her way a little bit through there, not too much resistance. And we got Hot Wheels busting out of the. Wow, Hot Wheels! She got to slip by the trifecta. That's just what I'm calling. That it. is absolutely yeah. That's that's, that's what we're gonna call for the rest of the game. We got three yeah. minutes in the game. It's a trifecta. That there trifecta. we go. Oh, hurt Macklin, trying to score those points. We got, or Hot Wheels, I don't know what I say, Herb Macklin. Sorry, everybody. Hot Wheels trying to score those points. The jam gets called off. Oh, yeah. I think each got four for that one. All right. Coming into what could possibly be the last or the second to the last jam. Yeah. Two minutes and 15 seconds. Yeah, and here we are. We've got both Valkyrie. Wow, Valkyrie breaking through. Line. Great job. No problems. Gypsy roughly getting held back by Bambina, Cheeks, and Nitrogen. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Oh, and Valkyrie, oh, Valkyrie met with a wall there. Mama Sika. There we go. Oh, but is she getting through? Did she break yes, through? She can push oh, but she can push oh, Flux is stuck to her. Oh, and she calls She's it She's down off and calls on it the other side. on the fall. I mean, at this point, the, the Manatee Mayhem should consider making The Wall by Pink Floyd their theme song. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, we got it here, folks. We got one last jam in, maybe two, with a yeah. minute to go. This could be it. This is the last jam. I doubt any of the jammers are going to call it. 
no matter who they are, whoever the lead jammer is, I doubt they will call the jam and probably just let it run its full course so they can score as many points. Velada just making her way through. Wow, forcing her way through that. And she's out with lead jam. Pommel gum stuck in the back. Pommel gum she's is trying. doing her best. Velada is coming back in to score more points. Here she is on the inside. Is she going to make it? She does. Oh, and she gets knocked down. Well, and she just power gets generator up and gets keeps that going. gets that penalty right at the end. Gets that penalty right at the end. Yeah, Velada's just going to let this timer run. I doubt she's going to call that in any way. She's just going to keep getting the points and letting it run because this is the last jam. Yep, I think you're right. Yeah, I think she's, she's just gonna going. Let it ride. And she's earned it. They all have yeah, they such really a have. good game. Oh, she calls it. Oh. oh we're going to do one more jam, I think. Well, let's see. Let's see. And that's it. No, I think that's it. I think that's the Is end that of that. It? Yeah. All right. That's game, guys. Unofficial score right now. Manatee Mayhem for the win with 142 to 72 by the Snowbird Bombers. They're gonna be, they're definitely going to be checking that. They're gonna be checking the scores. We're gonna get an official on that here in a minute. If it changes at all, we'll update you. And let's take a look at the results. Scroll my fingers the other way. It looks like Velada Trouble getting a lot of those votes there. 14% looks like Velada Trouble for the Manatee Skaters and Snowbird Bombers. It looks like with an overwhelming percentage of Pummel Gum. Pummel Gum with that 29%. All right, way to go. Way to go. participating we appreciate you absolutely thank you again for joining us here at the orlando roller derby i am once again chatter cheese joined by slamazon and reflux was here with us earlier in our game please by all means show us love on our social media instagram facebook and always check in for our live streams as well as live events come in join us we'd love to have you with us and as always keep it Slamming! Oh, I thought you were gonna say keep it rolling. Keep it rolling! Keep I it didn't rolling. think of that. Oh. Oh.